Getting a little wet, huh? Man, oh man. It isn't a major downpour yet, but it's getting worse. It's going to be raining pretty hard here in a minute, buddy. Yeah, the wind's blowing. Woo! around. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, that wind is working out the rain. Woo! You can feel it on your leg when it hits. Woo! That's yeah, fresh water, thankfully. It's not going to kill you. Well, you got your wish. You got to be out here in a rainstorm. Oh, Roy. Oh, man, is it ever coming down now? Yeah, the water's just, you know, that wind switched around. Yeah, it did. degrees, because earlier it was blowing from out of the south really hard. Yep. And now it's blowing out of the north. So I got to go downwind on both, both, <laughs> both walks. Well, it's definitely a lot cooler out now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, it's easing up a little bit. Yeah, it's a big cell down there behind me. Well, how about doing singing a song? Oh, what a beautiful <laughs> morning! Oh, what a beautiful day! There you go. I got a wonderful feeling. Everything going my way. Oh, what a beautiful day! <laughs> yep, yeah, singing in the rain. survive. Oh, what a glorious morning. What a glorious morning. Positive thinking. Positive thinking. This is liquid sunshine. <laughs> I think I'm going to get the seat of my car wet. Yep. Sit down in it. My pants are getting pretty soaked. You got your harmonica with you? That's in the car. Maybe I'll hop in the car and you can play a couple tunes on the harmonica. I'm right next to you. Oh, are you. I'll sit in your car and you can play the harmonica for us. Ah, oh, wonderful. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Oh, man. Yeah, we'll be playing in the rain. Yeah. 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 Oh, crazy. Oh, what a great time. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, it is raining pretty good down to the south. by you here to make sure you got back here. I'm glad you did. I don't want you washing out to sea on me. <laughs> it dissolved in the rain. I wasn't planning on taking another shower, but now I'm good probably until next Monday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, my leg wrapping probably got wet. Well, it's fresh water. It's clean water. You know, so it's not that golf water, so yeah. we're, I think we're okay. Reverse osmosis water. Reverse osmosis, it is. <laughs> oh man. Are we gonna sit on Audrey's bed for a while and linger? I don't know. Let's see what let's see what it's like under the trees there. Sometimes it's not bad. I think the bench is gonna be a little damp. Well I don't think it really matters now. <laughs> I don't think it matters if it's not yeah, it's still coming down pretty hard here. That wind's blowing it right in on us. Woo! I think we better get in the car. You can play a couple songs on your harmonica. We can conversate in there. Isn't 
that the truth there. Well, the only doofuses? Yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> this is what everybody pays the big bucks for is to watch the shows, these shows right here. <laughs> Man. I'm going to grab a towel out of my car and I'll jump in your car next to you. Good. Roy's Cadillac. Yeah, my little beach beater Toyota Corolla. <laughs> Whew. Hopefully my keys didn't get soaking wet and hopefully they still work. Yep. I just happened to throw a towel in here yesterday. I had a sneaky suspicion I was going to need a towel this morning. Oh, man. Singing in the rain. You sure are singing in the rain, buddy. Singing in the rain. Our butts aren't soaking wet. At least mine isn't. Just my chest and head. Oh man, Roy. That was a good one. Yeah, you got your harmonica? Alright, that's alright. I'll wait for you to slide it over and then I'll hop in. I'll let you move. Is there anything on the seat? I don't want to sit on your glasses. Some water in your glasses. Oh. And your harmonica. Uh -huh, you need that. Whoops. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Well, get the door shut. my glasses off? Right there. Oh, fine. They're on the console. All right. Hey, what a good time. Well, this is different. <laughs> Sitting in the car. Yeah, it's pretty nice here. Well, we can Sitting definitely... Sitting in the car. <laughs> Sitting <laughs> in the rain in the car. Oh, oh, boy. What a morning. That's a glorious morning, isn't it? Now it sounds like it's starting to slow down as soon as we get in here. Well, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> slowed down in the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Something wrong with the reeds. I imagine that. What the heck? Got Maybe sand got in them? Sand in it. I don't know. How the heck did that happen? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Is it full of it's water? Shot. What the heck happened? I don't know. Did you sit on it? <laughs> no. <laughs> what happened? That's a goofy one. What happened? Is it stuck in between with the chromatic thing? No, that's pretty well. It isn't moving. That might be what. How did yeah. that freeze up overnight? Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. It's that slider thing that. But it's solid. It isn't sliding. But look at all the holes just halfway. Right. Stuck in between. <laughs> 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 Kind of a creepy version hey, of this song. Homer never sounded that good. That sounded pretty How creepy. Did that up get, it must have got really pushed. Up. I can't even move it with all my might. I wonder what happened. Here, let me try it. I had to hit it with a hammer or something. Let me see if I can slide it. Yeah. Oh, you know, it might have got bent. Now we got a weak connection here. Here, let me see if I can. Yeah, it was. Pulled. You know, Just... it might have got bent or something. Here, Either hold this, hold this push. thing. Here, you can talk to people. I'll hey, it's coming down, Rob. Here, you're gonna have you a... can you can talk to hold that where my hand is. You can talk to people. They can ask you questions here. Hi, everybody. It's a glorious day at the beach today. It's a little damp, but uh, but Rob and I are sitting in the car and we're cozy and warm and having a wonderful time. <laughs> 
Oh, we got a little drenched before we got in the car. I think the major storm is coming down. And Rob's trying to fix my harmonica. Something happened to old man Something Horner. Something happened to it. Anybody saying anything to you? <laughs> I'm sure. Can you see that? Well, you know, I got that Homer. I played that when I was a kid. So yes. That must have been uh, whoo -hoo, 80 years or so ago. Or more than that, maybe 85. So that Honer is hung in there pretty good. <laughs> Old man Honer, he did a good job on these things. Well, here, see if this, see if that, yeah, see if that works, Roy. Oh, you moved it. Yeah. It's not gonna. You're not gonna be able to slide. Oops, sorry. That hey. sounds a little better. Yeah, you did. What did you do? Push it. Well, in? I pushed it all the way in. I pulled. I pulled it out a little. I got to wipe the lens. I pulled it out a little, then pushed it in. It must have been on the different reeds because before it was pulled out. Uh, I got two different reeds there, so we're a little bit above. The signal keeps cutting in and out here. You can watch this on YouTube later, folks. It still sounds good. You know, actually, these are better reeds than the, the way when it was pulled out. Really? Don't these sound better? Yeah, it sounds fuller. Yeah, they yep. aren't quite so beaten up. got the dust out of it yeah yeah good job well those are bigger holes on yeah. on the bottom it looks like than on the top i think yeah, but, but it's a different reed so yeah we're playing all different well, reeds cool. now what was that about my darn holding hands or something walking in the garden i don't know <laughs> There's one of dead ones. Apologize to everybody that we're, the signal keeps cutting in and out here, so the image gets fuzzy. But the playback will be better on YouTube later. You are my sunshine, and then let's do some more talking.
Beautiful. <laughs> oh boy, that's great. A good time. Sitting here. Here we're sitting in the rain. <laughs> yeah, it's better than sitting out in the rain. I mean, we're at oh. least we got in the car here. Boy, it's coming down good, isn't yep. it? We got a good little soaking out there walking you're, you're down the beach. You're gonna get soaked just getting over to your car. I know. Oh well, <laughs> I've had worse. Oh, you can put that towel over your shoulders. Maybe. Yeah. Oh well, it's you know we've been time. out here in worse than this. You what and a me. good time. Boy, we've been out here when the wind was howling and the waves were crashing. Ah, ah, Remember ah. when we've been out here and the waves were coming all the way oh. up to the bench here? Oh, roaring all the way up, yeah. Man, yeah, ah. that yeah. was something else. Yeah, we've been here every day. The best of the days was when those dolphins roared right up on the beach. Oh, uh, was that not amazing? Oh, uh, actually grounded themselves on the beach there. Half out of water. That was just amazing. I don't know how they managed to get back in the water. They bammed their tail on the sand. and It's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? We'll see them again. We'll get to see that again, I'm sure. They'll be back. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, a fella said yesterday he saw some little ones leaping out of water. Little dolphins, little babies. That's nice. Yeah, those young ones, they, they fly out. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh. Oh, so... We were talking there, we didn't talk too much about it, about positive thinking and prayer and... I think we covered the waterfront. You think we did on the positive thinking? Well, I can't think of too much more about it. Well, that's not very positive. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it what just, else? Uh, it, it, the whole thing about it is it works. It does work. Yeah, it really does. When you think positively, it's like prayer. It, it really works for some miraculous reason. <laughs> you are so right about that. So it's nice to know that, uh, that if, you, if you really want something, you think positively, you figure, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to achieve that, and, and you actually achieve it. I think it, it helps you along to do to, to, to do what you have to do to achieve what you want to achieve. Yep, absolutely. Sometimes it's hard to think positive. And you sometimes know, these achieving take quite a while, like going to college for four years. It takes four years to get your degree, and so you got to keep hanging in there, that's for sure. Right, you always have to keep looking at, towards the end of the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's... Well, you know, at the end of the rainbow, there's a pot of gold. I can, I've heard that, and I've tried to get to the end of the rainbow, and it just keeps eluding me. Ah, Every ah, time ah, I get ah, there, it moves. Ah, ah, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Yeah. I think we have better odds of finding a sunken, a buried treasure chest here on the beach than finding the pot of gold at the end of the <laughs> rainbow. Well, you know, the guys with their metal detectors, they're looking for a pot of gold. Isn't that the truth? There was a story I saw on Facebook the other day. Some little kid, I guess he got a metal detector down on Marco Island. He got a metal detector as a Christmas present. Yeah. And they they got a you know a reading on the metal detector, and he started digging, and he found this big big statue of a manatee that was no buried kidding. in the sand. Yeah. Well, I'll be darned. It it really wasn't it wasn't an antique or anything or an artifact, but it was just. It was very unusual to find this big statue of a manatee yeah, buried. It was metal, huh? Yeah, buried on the beach. Well, it was yeah. a manatee with its little calf in front of it. A big mama manatee with its little manatee calf. Uh, 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 he, uh, that little boy was so happy. It was treasure one. to him. Oh, God, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I just did a little more reading on that space hotel. That thing's going to be interesting. That is something I hadn't heard I don't, about. I can't that. afford to get there, but what do you say they charge for a room? It's gonna be it's gonna be nine and a half million dollars 
per night for 12 days. Oh, 12 days. Yeah, nice. well, that makes it more reasonable. Nine Less than a, a million a day. <laughs> Less than a million a day. Yeah. Well, that includes your transportation, of course. Do you get your meals, too? You get your meals. And dessert and space everything. Space food, yep. You get space food. I suppose food. it doesn't include the gratuity, though. Oh, Let's what see, would... the 15% of nine and a half million. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a kind of a big gratuity. Wouldn't that be something, huh? <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they have chambermaids and things like that. Oh, I'm sure they must for that <laughs> price, yeah. <laughs> no, it's crazy. I mean, the things are changing fast nowadays. I suppose you get filet mignon. I don't think you do. <laughs> <laughs> I think you get space food, astronaut food. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah, I think it's like... Uh, Dehydrated something or other? Yeah, I think it's very nutritious, but not very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can make those things tasty. It's like your old MREs in the military. Your old meal kits. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever get forced to eat any of those? No, I never What'd did. What you used to I call them, K rations? I was in the Navy. The, we had a, we had a, yeah, you had a, a boy, we a had nice galley. great <laughs> food in the Navy, I'll tell you. The officer's mess. Woo! It was great. Yeah. <laughs> so you went, how long were you out of the Navy? How long? Between, what was the, well, I got, between I World got, War II and uh, the Korean the War. World War II was over in about 19... 45 or 6 around in there, uh -huh. 45, and, and then uh, and then the Korean thing came along in 53 or something. Oh, okay, it? so... Yeah, 52 or 3. So I was oh, out about maybe like, I don't know, 8 years or something. So is that when you went to school to become an engineer? I'll never forget, I came home from, from the construction job, and my wife said... Uh, well, you always wanted to go to Alaska. Here's your chance. She'd opened the letter from the from my rich uncle, and uh, it was inviting me to go to Kodiak, Alaska. It wasn't just an invitation; it was a command. Your rich uncle, <laughs> Uncle Sam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a command, not a not a. Invitation. Oh, okay. So they you didn't choose that; they sent you there. Oh yeah, Kodiak, Alaska. Oh, interesting. Well, they, they, see, I was in communications. They'd sent me to Harvard Communication School, so I, I was proficient in uh, breaking the top secret, not breaking them, of decoding top secret codes. Mm -hmm. I'd put on my sidearm and take them up to the Admiral on the bridge in the Iowa. <laughs> yeah, Kodiak, Alaska, that was really something. So we, used, we used to go down to the docks, and we'd get those huge crabs, king crabs from the oh, fishermen. Just, those are like monsters. Oh, when you'd hold them up, I mean, they were They're like monstrous. three feet long or so, two feet. And and uh, only a few bucks from the fishermen, right, when they'd come in with their fishing Boy, are boats. they tasty. Ooh. Oh, unbelievable. And those legs, you take the meat out, and they're, they're yeah. huge. They're oh, huge. man. Yeah, that's what, I like love it. king crab. I like that more than lobster, really. Yeah, it beats lobster. Yep, I love king crab. Where are we going to go to get some king crab? <sighs> they charge so much for it around here now. Costco, back in the old days, used to have it on sale all the time, and yeah. it was awesome. We used to get it there in the old days. Now, I don't know where you get it. Now, you pay through your nose to get it. Go to a restaurant. I got my old friend from way back, Gene Prine, Gene Gale Prine. They're coming uh -huh. down to visit uh, oh, this, nice. this Saturday. Yeah, this wonderful, and they want to take me out for lunch. Where's a really nice restaurant? They want to go to a nice restaurant. Oh my lord, they're everywhere. I mean, because I see last time they said we ate at one, and we kind of looked out over the sea, but I don't quite remember where that was. And you looked out over the water. Yeah. Well, the Turtle Club is very nice. Turtle Club? Yeah. Where's that? That's down at the end of, um, if you just go down Vanderbilt Drive, like you're going to the beach to the end of it. Yeah. And you turn right, it's just on the left. I don't know if that's private or if it's... Well, there are buses warehouses down it's there. It's on the other side of the road. It's right across the street. 
Is Buzz's warehouse still open? Buzz's lighthouse. Buzz's lighthouse, yeah. <laughs> Not he wouldn't appreciate you calling where, it a warehouse. Is, is that still open? It sure is. Because I tried to find their phone number in the phone book and I couldn't find them. Yeah, they're still there. Because that was good food at Buzz's lighthouse. We used, we used to get lobster there. Yeah, Buzz's. They have an uh, awesome grouper. What is it? A grouper taco? Or grouper. Oh, I can't think what you call it now, like a grouper wrap. It is awesome. Fresh grouper. It's good. Buzz's is still there, but the Turtle Club's on the other... The Turtle Club's very expensive. Uh-huh. I'm trying to think where you went that's on the water. Did you go to the fish house in Benita? I think Benita? Buzz's, maybe that was... Because they're on the water there. Yeah. Or they're on the inside bay. Did you maybe go to the fish house up in Benita? Could or Coconut Jack's? I don't know, but they, they're driving down, so I don't want to drive way out to Benita. But yeah, that... it's just right up on Benita Beach Road. That's not far. Oh, Coconut yeah. Jack's is good. Coconut Jack's. Well, there's a lot of good spots. There's there? a lot of good spots around Naples. I think Buzz's Lighthouse, that, that'll fill yeah, they, the bill. They'd appreciate the business. Yeah. The two boys there. <laughs> 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 that place, that used to be the only thing down there back in the old days. Yeah, Audrey yeah. and I used to go there. We had a good time. We got lobsters, I remember. Really? Yeah, Maine lobsters at Buzz's. Well, that's not very Florida. <laughs> you want to eat some Florida seafood. Oh, man. I think it's starting to slow down a little bit. It is slowing down. I want to go out and take one more look outside. Well, I'm heading back. You going to take off? Yeah. All right, Daddy-O. I don't think I'm going for a swim today. No swim today? No. I thought we just had a swim. I think we did. Walking up the beach in the pouring down rain. Oh, God. We should have had our snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> that was something. <laughs> At least we got to hear your harmonica. That was good. Yeah, I'm glad we got it to work. Yeah, I'm glad you got it I don't know work. why it's... I don't know what... what yeah, I don't know what that. happened to that. What do you call that thing? The chromatic something or... Yeah, it's chromatic. You push that button to get half notes. Huh. So what it's... you got is a half, half thing different than when I was playing it when it was pulled out. Yeah. It's, this is a different reed, and I think it might have, you know, reeds. it might have got bent or something. I don't know. The other reeds were getting kind of worn out, so it sounded good when you finally got it working. Reeds. Give us one more tune on there. How about, oh, whatever. I don't care. One or two flat reeds. Yeah. It's not going to kill us. <laughs> we get the idea. How does that go about walking with my honey or something? Uh, walking? I, I, I don't know. If, if you played it, I could recognize it, but... hanging in there for being probably about 85 years old I, mean, I think you're right but i think it's because i played time to when retire. i was a kid if i was 10 years old that makes that baby 85 years old and it's still playing can you believe that i know it's got a lot of sentimental value good old honer 
But you do have a collection of harmonicas. Yeah, I guess. Uh, you got all those ones. One this lady gave me, the, man. Yeah, the Betty gave you, and then yeah. then the Ranger here, Bill, got you one for your birthday last year. Not your last, but the birthday yeah, before. He, yeah. He gave you a brand new one for your birthday. And then yeah. Betty gave you all of her husbands that little those little teeny tiny ones and that yeah, great big one. Yeah, ones, a great big long one. I think you should get that, bring I, that big one. I got them all at home there. You should put that big one in the car. Okay. That's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can handle it? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, take might, a lot of wind. <laughs> might need a kind of a support to hold it up. <laughs> a winch. A winch. <laughs> a winch or a winch? <laughs> Oh, oh Lordy! A good time. All right, it's slow. It's stopping here. Well, just getting a break. All right, Roy, I'm gonna jump out. Well, it's always good seeing Take you. Take a Ron. quick look around. Yeah. Yep. Check things out. Check things out. Don't I gotta take a picture of in your car here. <laughs> we never. What yeah, that time. was great. This was a. This was different. This was a first. <laughs> 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 I always tell people, you never know what's gonna happen during one of these. Mornings out no, here. They're always different. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hang on. Let me get out of here. Spin around. Yep. Oh yeah. It's not bad now. Hey, how about that? All right, Roy. Okay. It's good seeing you. Yeah, Have a nice great day. You, Rob. All right. Have God bless day, and ta yeah. tally ho. Tally ho and all. <laughs> goodbye to all the wonderful Facebook friends. There you go. Yeah. Be careful on the road. Love you all. All right. Be careful. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that was different. Roy and I got caught in the rain up by Wiggins Pass, walking back from Wiggins Pass, and quite a little rainstorm. It's getting ready to come through again here. Just wanted to take you out to the beach one last time, give you a look around. I saw some crazy clouds earlier this morning, really crazy. I think I got some good pictures of them that I can share. There are people out on the beach. There's somebody way down here walking on the beach. Ah. Definitely raining though. No two ways about that. More rain on its way here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this morning's beach walk. It was definitely different. Definitely different. Remember, I don't get paid to do this. If you enjoy them and you want to send a little contribution, a little donation, it's always appreciated. It helps pay the phone bill. I might be needing to replace the gimbal here. I'm going to see if it works when I turn it back on tomorrow. It got soaked today. <laughs> But if you want to send a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. Make sure you like and follow Southwest Florida Television. If you're thinking about visiting Naples, I suggest you like and follow Nonstop Naples Facebook page. Like and follow Nonstop Naples. Check out their website. Download the free Nonstop Naples app. If you're looking for a hotel, I recommend you look at the Inn of Naples, the Inn of Naples. Great little hotel centrally located on US 41 in Naples. Well, thanks for joining me and Roy this morning. Have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday for Southwest Florida.